Open AI just dropped something that could change the way we code forever. Imagine an AI that doesn't just suggest a line or two, but actually reviews your code like a senior developer, fixes bugs, and even manages full projects. That's exactly what GPT-5 Codex is aiming to do. In this video, I will show you the insane new features, how it's different from previous models, and why some developers are calling it the future of coding. So now let's talk about what exactly is GPT-5 Codex. Well, it's a special version of OpenAI's GPT-5 model, but this one is designed only for coding. While the normal GPT-5 can talk with you about anything, from history to recipes, GPT-5 Codex focuses only on programming. The key thing that makes GPT-5 Codex powerful is something called agentic coding. Now, that might sound technical, but it really just means that AI can work in two ways. First, it can help you interactively. You ask it a question, it gives you answer, just like how most people use ChatGPT today. But second, and this is the big leap, it can also work independently on long, complex tasks. For example, instead of just fixing one big, it can spend hours refactoring an entire code base, running tests, or reviewing large projects without you having to guide every little step. This is a huge change compared to older versions. The original codex, which came around the GPT 3.5 era, was mainly good for short snippets of code and quick completions. It wasn't built to handle big, multi-step coding projects. And the general GPT-5 model is bored. It's great at reasoning, writing, and answering questions. But it isn't fine-tuned for the details of coding workflows. GPT-5 Codex combines the raw intelligence of GPT-5 with deep training in real coding tasks, making it smarter, more reliable, and much more useful for developers. Now let's talk about real upgrades that make GPT-5 Codex stand out. OpenAI didn't just make it a little smarter, they gave it abilities that make it useful in everyday developer life as well as big, demanding projects. First, it works both interactively and independently. This means you can have a quick back and forth with it, like asking a coding question and getting a simple answer, just like you would with ChatGPT. But the real magic is that it can also run long, independent tasks. For example, if you give it a large project and ask it to refactor the code or run a complete set of tests, it can keep working on that for hours without needing constant instructions. Second, it's much better at bug detection and code review. Previous models were fine at fixing small syntax mistakes, but they often missed the deeper issues. GPT-5 Codex is designed to go further. It can analyze how different parts of your code connect with each other, run test cases, and even validate whether the program behaves the way it should. This makes it more like a proper reviewer rather than just a code completion tool. Third, it follows coding styles and rules much more naturally. If your team has a particular way of writing code, certain formatting, naming, or structure, GPT-5 Codex is more likely to stick to it without you having to remind it again and again. Fourth, it's faster and more efficient. When you need a quick answer or a small piece of code, it responds quickly. But when the task is bigger, like optimizing a large function or reviewing a massive file, it uses resources more wisely so it doesn't slow down or waste unnecessary compute. Now let's talk about who can actually use GPT-5 Codex and where it's available. The good news is you don't need a brand new subscription just for this. GPT-5 Codex is already included in several ChatGPT plans like Plus, Pro, Business, Education, and Enterprise. So if you're already paying for one of these, you automatically get access without any extra cost. By default, GPT-5 Codex is also built right into Codex Cloud and the IDE extension, which means you can use it directly inside your coding environment without having to switch tools. On top of that, it connects with GitHub tools for developers who rely heavily on GitHub in their workflow. For people who prefer working from the terminal, it also available through the command line interface or CLI. And if you are on the go, you can still access GPT-5 Codex through ChatGPT on mobile apps like iOS. This flexibility is really important because it means no matter how or where you write code, GPT-5 Codex can fit right into your workflow. Now, as exciting as GPT-5 Codex sounds, it's also important to look at the downsides and the open questions that still don't have clear answers. One of the biggest concerns is dependency. The more developers rely on this kind of AI, the easier it becomes to lean on it for everything. 
while that can save time it also means people might slowly lose the habit of solving problems on their own which could hurt long term skills and creativity right another issue is the cost of running long agenting tasks since gpt5 codecs can work on projects independently for hours the question is how much compute power and therefore money this really takes openai hasn't given a detailed breakdown yet so it's not completely clear whether using it heavily will be affordable for everyone or only practical for bigger companies with large budgets and finally we have to talk about competition openai isn't the only player in this space Tools like Cloud Core and platforms like Cursor are pushing their own versions of advanced coding assistants. The AI coding race is heating up, and while GPT-5 Codex is a strong contender, it will have to keep improving to stay ahead. So, if you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay updated on the latest AI and tech news, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.